Sorry, Headmaster. I'm really struggling to get my Year 9 class to question what they hear. They seem to believe everything, no matter how unreliable the source or unlikely it is. Last week I had to explain to the class that the colour of a cow does not determine the type of milk it gives. Tommy had them all convinced that black and white cows made plain milk, brown cows chocolate milk, and reddish cows made strawberry milk. I don't think children can really think anymore. It seems to remove their capacity to reason, to question and to think critically. Hmm. I know how you feel. I think we will all find this a challenge. Is there, is there something you would like to try to see if you can improve the situation? Well, I have noticed that they seem to think more when they're in groups because they have different perspectives. Perhaps... This should be a way to get them to try to think and question what they have heard. I suppose I could try putting something together based on the curriculum I have to follow and see what happens. Are you suggesting the R word? I guess so. So what type of research would it be? Action research? Action? You mean acting? No. Think back to the CPD from last year. Ah, oh, yes, that nice man talked about doing research in the classroom. He made it sound practical, looking at a real problem and trying to improve it. He said it can help teachers to reflect on their practice too, and become better teachers. But I can't remember much about it. Do you remember him talking about the action research spiral? No. Show me. You start with an idea of what you could change and plan how you might do this, then you try it out and see what happens. Or observe, as the academics say. And think about how it went, and based on that, you can then adapt it to try something else. Gradually, you will start to improve your practice and their learning. That sounds like a good idea. Action research sounds very flexible and ideal for small-scale research. Yes, exactly. It can bridge the gap between research and practice. Do you know much about the ologies? Uh, I'm pretty good with technology. No, ologies. Ah, you mean ontology, epistemology, methodology, paradigms and things like that? Yes. No, don't have a clue. Oh well, we won't dwell on that too much. It's really the conceptual framework for the research you are doing. Ontology might be described as how things really are. Epistemology is about how we how we can know these things. And methodology, the approaches you take to show these things. Action research tends to be very pragmatic and quite often takes a cri critical perspective, righting wrongs and finding ways to improve learning. Sounds interesting. Where might I find out more? My favourite bedtime reading book, Cohen, Mannion and Morrison, have a nice chapter on action research, page 216 to 241 in their book Research Methods in Education 5th edition. Okay, where should I start? I guess I need a question. Something like how can we encourage students to develop and apply their critical reasoning? That's a good start and explains the general problem but it would but be also good to make it a bit more focused. The more specific you are the better. Try to think it out more. Well, I could get my Year 9 students to do some collaborative learning and see if I'm right about them discussing different options. Does collaborative learning help students in Year 9 to think more critically? I'd also like to know if once they've practiced thinking and reasoning in a group, they can then do it individually in a new context because they often fail to transfer skills they develop in one subject to another to show real, transferable improvements. Maybe I could have a sub-question of are those students who have worked collaboratively better able to translate this into an individual context? Okay, so how might you go about this? What kind of approach or methodology would you think about using? Tell me a bit more. I think 
I might collect both quantitative and qualitative data. Ah, a mixed method approach. Is that what they call it? Okay, so I could use assessment data. Did they get the answers right or wrong? Get them to score how confident they were with their answers. Say on a scale from 1 to 4, where 1's very confident and 4's not confident at all. Okay, great. So let's think about some of the details of how this might work. What might the lesson look like? Hmm. Okay, what I'm thinking is I have one class who might work independently on solving a question and one who work in groups of five or six. So, for example, with the class... Created using Powtoon.